10 plugins every WordPress website needs. Let's begin. The first plugin, AIO SEO, stands for All-in-One SEO. It's an SEO plugin and it's a complete SEO toolkit that'll help you grow your website in terms of traffic. It has tons of features. It has an SEO optimizer. That means the content you, on your website can be optimized with AIO SEO. Rich snippets, that means star ratings, all that rich results, you can use that. Sm site maps, that means all in SEO can create site maps for you automatically. It has local SEO features, WooCommerce features, and tons and tons of features. Search statistics, writing assistant, rank tracker, schema markup, and tons of features. It also has a free plugin called AIO SEO. You can search it for it or search for it in the WordPress repository, get started. And if you like the features, you want uh, advanced link tracking and advanced, let's say, broken link checking, then you can go for the premium version. And there's many other premium versions in all in SEO as well. So your website will be linked on the screen and also in the description of this video. Make sure you have this plugin installed, at least the free version on every WordPress website. The next plugin every website should have is Duplicator. Duplicator, as the name suggests, probably not 100%, but Duplicator is a backup plugin. And backup is like having insurance for a website. If anything goes wrong, plugin update goes wrong, WordPress update goes wrong, something messes up or you make a mistake, your website can go down. But backups can prevent or I'd say can solve you or uh, prevent the pain because if you have a backup, you can always restore your website. And that's what Duplicator allows you to do. It has secure backups, it has scheduled backups, cloud storage backups, one-click restore, website cloning, many other features. And you can use uh, Duplicator to not only uh, backup your website, but also migrate your site. So if you have your current website on a particular hosting provider, you want to migrate your website to the other, another hosting provider, you can use Duplicator for that. And you also have a uh, lot of amazing features like one-click restoration. So just one click and your website is restored. You also have disaster recovery features. So even if let's say everything goes wrong and you can't even see your website, it's completely dead, widescreen, nothing. You can't even access the admin area. The feature that I just mentioned will help you prevent all of that. Those are some of the features that are available in the pre version or sort of the pro version, but the free version also has tons of backup features. So there's a free version as well, which allows you to create manual backups and upload in some other areas, right? If you upgrade to the pro version, you'll unlock scheduled backups and a lot of different cloud storage providers that you can use. That means you can set up a schedule to have a backup every day or a week or multiple days and then upload them to Amazon or Google Drive or OneDrive or whatever cloud storage you use. So that will happen automatically. So it's like having uh, your website backup or ensure website being insured every single week with the latest updates. So that keeps you gives you peace of mind and ensures that your website never goes down because if it, if it goes down, it'll just take a few minutes and you can restore your website with the help of Duplicator. The next plugin that every website needs is WP Forms. Every website needs forms, contact form, sign up forms, hey, register for my upcoming webinar kind of forms, forms everywhere. They're essential parts of the internet and also websites. And WP Forms is the best drag and drop WordPress form builder. And you can see the features here. You can use contact forms, so create contact forms, create payment forms, you can also accept payments, survey forms, newsletter forms, registration forms, and you have thousands of pre-made form templates done. There's some, so many other features that are not listed here. There's AI form building, there's conditional logic inside forms, there's spam protection, payment collection, tons and tons of features. And the best part is every feature is very easy to use. So it's like having just drag and drop your stuff on the page and the form is ready. So it's very easy to use for anyone. And of course, the pro version is even more powerful. If you just want to get started, the free version should be sufficient to you. It's available in the WordPress repository. Just search for WP Forms. This is the icon and you can download it and you'll see uh, the wonderful plugin in action. You can start creating forms, see what kind of things people are doing on your site and get better results with your lead generation, customer getting or whatever you're using forms for. The next plugin every website owner needs on the website is WP Consent. WP Consent is a consent and cookie banner and privacy law compliance plugin and it does all three. So you can see here the banner on the site is coming from WP Consent. Now you might think that hey this is just a banner, many plugins can do this but here's the difference. Not only does the banner work, you can customize the banner and everything else, the technical way in how the banner is supposed to work from a compliance perspective is something that makes WP Consent more important. For example, unless I click accept, a lot of cookies that would just generally be set for any other plugin will not be set because WP Consent prevents them from being set. So any kind of optional plugins or optional, let's say, cookies like marketing, Facebook Pixel, they will only be start setting on the site if you click accept. That is how privacy plugins are supposed to work. 
And if the, your plugin doesn't work like that, it's not technically compliant. It's just a fancy banner plugin. So that's where WP Consent is different. And it complies with GDPR, CCPA, Privacy Act compliance, and you can customize the cookie banners and you can also generate logs for user compliance. And there's tons of other wonderful features with WP Consent that you can start utilizing. And it's very easy to set up. You can just start, like set it up and within five to 10 minutes, have the first cookie banner available on your site. And if you want to get started with a free version, there's a free version as well, WP Consent. You can check out and compare the features, whichever you like. If you're happy with the free version, go for the free version. But if you like the pro features, you can always go for the pro features. Again, the link will be on the screen and also in the description of this video. Make sure to check out WP Consent. The next plugin every website owner needs is Monster Insights. By the way, Easter egg here, this form plugin or this uh, banner is also coming from WP Consent. So Monster Insight also uses WP Consent. I'll click accept. Now, what is Monster Insights used for? It's an analytics plugin, but you think, hey, I can use Google Analytics. Well, that's where the problem happens. Google Analytics is great, and it's one of the best free solutions available for analytics, but setting it up correctly on your WordPress website is a huge technical hurdle. And that's where Monster Insights comes into play. Instead of having you to going into every website's code, messing it up, and then figuring what kind of properties are being done, and then verifying if the data streams are connected, which can be challenging even for technical professionals, Monster Insights takes all that pain away from you. Just use Monster Insights, click and add a couple of details about your account, your property details and everything else. And Monster Insights will take care of everything else. It doesn't matter if you just have a content website, if you're an e-commerce website, you can get user behavior analytics, SEO rankings, real-time analytics, bunch of benefits using Monster Insights. And you can check out all the detailed feature list here by going to the website, It'll be linked here. Who are the features you'll see? Lot of different features and amazing features here. And of course, there's a free version of this plugin as well, available as well in the WordPress repository inside, or just search for Monster Insights and you'll find a very capable free plugin. By the way, this also has AI features integrated. So if you want, you can talk to your analytics and just ask about, hey, how is the performance of my store compared to last week? Which are the products that are hottest selling in the last week? And that's where, that's how you can communicate with your analytics if you go for the pro version. It's not only in the free version. So make sure to check out Monster Insights, wonderful plugin. plugin makes a huge pain of setting up Google Analytics completely easy for everybody. That's Monster Insights. The next plugin every website owner needs is Sucre. Sucre is a security plugin and it offers a bunch of benefits and we use it on WP Beginner as well. So you can see here, if you go to the features here, you'll find detection for website monitoring. That means malware and any kind of problems happening to your site, protection, performance, response handling, and many other features. But the most important feature of that of this plugin that I would recommend, why I recommend this plugin is because of the security features. So if anybody or any malicious user, malicious agent or bot tries to change something on your site, Sukri comes to the rescue and blocks that attempt. If a random user tries to access the backend site, tries to try a lot of different passwords, Sukri can lock them out. And it also sets up an application firewall acting as a firewall just between the user and the website so that all the malicious activities or malicious agents, bots, spiders, they don't even come to your website in the first place. So not only is your website more secure because of Sukri, it also has better performance because real users are getting served, but all the bots and malicious users are being kept away. So it's a fantastic service. They also have some services that they offer that you can check out. And of course, there's a free version of the plugin as well, which is available for WordPress. So you can use it for auditing, remote malware scans. So if it's like, let's say if getting hacks or repeated attempts to hack, somebody trying to hack your website, you can use this and file integrity monitoring. monitoring. So if any random uh, user tries to access some website files and tries to change them, you'll get a lot of this. So basically it's a security hardening feature, which hardens your security on the site. And of course, if you're looking for any kind of specific WordPress uh, service, then you might not know that WP Beginner also offers a lot of different website services specifically for WordPress. You can see here, I'll link this page in the description and also on the screen. So if you go here, you can get a beautiful website. So website designing services, maintenance services, uh, emergency WordPress supports. If anything has a problem on your site, you can get emergency support. We also fix hacked websites and we have speed, web, speed services and we can do some custom requests as well. So that, for that, you can need to contact us. So if you have any of these problems tonight and you're not a WordPress expert and you need professional help from professionals, of course, then Double Beginner Services is something you can look for as well. And make sure to check out Sukri as well for security hardening and other WordPress features. 
The next plugin that every website owner will benefit from is Seedprod. Now Seedprod is a two-in-one kind of plugin. So it has landing page creation features and also has theme creation features. Let me talk about the landing page first. For example, if you're running a special event, you have a special offer, you have a special event that's coming up and you want to promote it. You want to pre pre preferably clear, create a landing page. Seedprod comes to rescue because it gives you drag and drop features that you can utilize and create your landing page. So look at this interface, you can create add things and basically you can just edit your website like it's being shown up and just that will be the final result of the website. So that's pretty awesome when it comes to creating landing pages. But if you want to go to the next level, then Seedprod Pro is where it's at. Because not only will you get an AI website builder, you can create a website with AI, but you can completely customize your entire theme. So if you're using WooCommerce or if you're using just regular WordPress, you can customize your entire theme template just by using Seedprod. That's an amazing feature. But if you just want to get started with creating landing pages, then the free version of Seedprod is pretty good as well. Make sure to check it out from the WordPress repository. Just search for Seedprod. I'll leave links to both the free plugin and the website down in the description so that you can check out whatever you like. The next plugin that every website owner needs is EWWW Image Optimizer. As the name suggests, it's an image optimization plugin. So what it does, a lot of images or a lot of people use images on their website liberally, which you are supposed to and allowed to. But what happens is images are usually quite big in size compared to the rest of the website in terms of size. So if a page on your website is basically 50 kilobytes, an image might be 250, 350. And if it's not optimized, a few megabytes in size. Now, because we have high internet speeds and we have a lot of like bandwidth and high speed internet, we don't think that a couple of megabytes is a huge deal. But think about this, every extra megabyte that you, your website has to load, every thousand visitors, which might be daily or even hourly for your site, that means an extra gigabyte of bandwidth. So that extra gigabyte of bandwidth not only is adding cost to you, but also affects your website loading speed, affects the experience for the user. So saving a few kilobytes or few, few hundred kilobytes might not seem like a big deal to you in terms of like, hey, it's just a few hundred kilobytes, but it has a multiplier effect depending on the number of visitors coming to your site. So this plugin allows you to make sure to automate the process. So once you install this plugin, you can basically set up a couple of things and then every, like, every time you upload a new image on your website, it'll automatically compress it and uh, resize it and also convert it into other formats, compatible formats, if you decide to set it up. So there's a free service or the plugin is absolutely free, but there's some pro features you can go check out from the EWWW website, which I'll link here, but there's a generous free plugin as well. And the benefit of using uh, this plugin compared to some other plugins is that many times other plugins, what they do is they just offer a service. So if your website is quite small, then a lot of times you'll have to connect to external services to optimize. And as your website grows, the cost of optimizing your images might be quite large. But this plugin, what it does is it uh, optimizes most of your images on your website as only. So it does consume a little bit of resources from your server, but if you have generous servers, or like if you're not using 100% of your uh, servers all the time, then you have that little bit of bandwidth that you can, or not the bandwidth, but the uh, say compute power that you can address to just compressing and optimizing images. So by just letting that thing a little bit, or I say just giving away a little bit of compute power, you can have optimized images on the site. Now, if you just go for the pro version, you will get both features. So you can uh, compress images in the cloud or compress them locally. So at least you get the benefit of choosing whenever you have, uh, you, you can make that trade off. But fantastic plugin, have an image optimization plugin and you'll be surprised on how much bandwidth you can save and how much uh, images or how much total storage and images compression bandwidth you can save by just having an image compression plugin. You'll be pretty surprised. So make sure to check it out from the links in the description. The next plugin that every website owner needs and it's probably already might have on your website is Akismet. Now you might not have heard this plugin if you're using a modern hosting provider, but for the OGs who have been using WordPress for some time, you might re instantly recognize this plugin because in the earlier days of WordPress, most hosting providers or even the general WordPress setup included this plugin as part of the package. Now, what does this plugin do? It's an anti-spam plugin. So basically, if you have built a few websites and you are, uh, we've been on the internet for some time, then you know that as soon as you build a website, magically from somewhere, people start spamming or I wouldn't say people, but some random bots will start leaving spam comments on the site. And the initial days, if you have just a few comments, it's easy to just delete them. But as your website grows, those comments might go into the thousands or even millions of comments. And that becomes a huge problem. So Akatsmed is a plugin and a service which allows you to prevent the spam from happening. So how it works is you get the free WordPress plugin. And if you just want to use the free version, then you just get a free API key 
from the website by signing for an account and you connect the plugin on your site. And what it does is it uses AI and learns in the background, hey, what kind of plugins or what kind of comments are actually spam and what kind of comments are actually genuine and then starts blocking the spam comments from ever reaching your site. So it saves you a bunch of headache, bunch of effort and works wonderfully. I have used this on my website previously as well, but if you are getting a lot of spam from on your forms instead of just your comments, then WP Forms, which I mentioned as one of the plugins, recommended plugins, already has a capture feature built in. You can just enable that capture feature and then you'll have this problem go away. And we had this problem recently on our site where we had 18,000 spam leads overnight. So we just fixed this by using the same features I just described. So make sure to make the, find the balance that if you want to use Xmet or WP Forms built-in spam protection, it has more control over how you detect spam and other things. And Xmet is more of a set it up and forget it. So depending on how you want to set it up, you can use one or both or a combination of both these plugins to prevent spam from reaching your website. The next plugin that every website owner needs is WP Code. Now, what does WP Code do? And you are thinking, hey, I don't want to mess with code on my website. Well, this is exactly the plugin you need if you don't want to do that. What WP Code allows you to do is manage code snippets on your site. Now, why do you need to manage code snippets? And I don't even want to, even want to have code snippets. Well, if you use any kind of external service, for example, Facebook plugin or Facebook Pixel, Google Pixel, you want to connect an external service like uh, Google Search Console, Analytics, or a bunch of other things, or you just want to tweak your WordPress setup so that you can get some features on your site, then you might need to tweak or use code snippets. Now, the benefit of using Doc Codes or WP Code is that you don't need to mess with your WordPress files, which can be intimidating for most, even for me. But WP Code makes it absolutely easy. So instead of having to mess with your website files, WP Code gives you a central repository of managing code snippets. So anytime you want to add a code snippet, just add it in WP Code and it'll take care of everything. So you can define if you want to run the code snippet on a particular page, you want to add it to the header, footer, or in the body of the page, or you want to run in the entire site. For example, if you are adding a Facebook pixel kind of thing, you want it to be available on all pages on your site. So all that can be done in WP Code. And then you can enable it, disable it, tweak it, do all sorts of things. And it's perfectly safe because you don't are not messing with your website files. So that's what WP Code gives you. If you hate code or touching code, then WP Code is actually the better plugin or the, the exact plugin you actually need. So there's tons of features here. You can go into the feature section. You have a snippet library, which allows you to do this. And this is just an example of the interface, how it works. So you'll he see here, you'll, you have ready-made snippets. For example, if you want to disable the annoying admin bar from appearing on your site, just add a snippet, gone. And some other things, you can do this. So it's pretty easy to use for everybody. This is some of the feature set. And of course, it has a generous free version available as well. I think I use the free version on my site because it's more than sufficient for my needs, but you can decide if you want the pro features. So this is what you can do. The earlier name for the plugin was WP uh, insert headers and footers. That's why you'll see here, but it's been renamed to WP code, I think quite some time back. So even if you search for insert headers and footers, you'll find this plugin. And it is a wonderful and powerful plugin. Make sure to use this on every website that you create. And that's it. All the important plugins you should have on your WordPress website. Did I miss something? Then make sure to let me, let me know in the comments. And if you want a specific recommendation for a specific use case, then use the comments as well. You're watching Yuvraj from WP Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.